All right, today we are going to be covering the new search widget from Elementor. And this search widget, they did have it before, but this time it is improved. So how the old version of the search widget worked was you would type in your term or your title or whatever you wanted to look for in the search bar and you would hit search enter whatever button and that would take you to the results page that would be another page somewhere else yeah but in this case in our case we have an improved search widget which shows you live results in the form of a drop down so as you type you could type five letters you could type two letters you could type one you have the option to set this in the editor so you would search your term and you will get some results in the drop down which you can click on and you will be taken to the page of that post for example let's say you will look for a post right so we are going to be implementing this on the OWO website because i have quite a lot of posts there and more, more posts will be added in the future and i thought that this would be very valuable for visitors to have as an option to search for whatever they want to search but before we get started let's talk a little bit about elementor e-commerce hosting all right with elementor e-commerce hosting you get everything you need for your online store and you can just ship it in no time you do not have to deal with any headaches and you have everything in one place so you have incredible incredible fast store sales optimization enterprise grade security and 24 7 expert service and as you can see the e-commerce hosting plans are catered to every need every one is covered here so if you're interested to simply starting with the e-commerce hosting plan you can go with the cell core and test it out and see if this is something that you would would like to continue with so as you can see they're pretty generous in terms of what you are getting as essential for your website and it includes the element element or core which is the free version and you can build your store you can improve your conversion and if you want to read a little bit more in depth about all these add-ons to the plan you can hover over the exclamation point and you will get a tooltip which will show you more or less everything that you need to know so you can have a look over here and you can read to see what is included in each plan the most popular obviously is the one in the middle always is like this right and as you can see again it's super generous as is the one for more advanced or more or bigger e-commerce stores yes let's say you already have an e-commerce store and you are interested in either migrating in a sense or just fully building it again on Elementor with their e-commerce hosting. So you can get this and you have everything included, including a premium WooCommerce theme, which is such a plus because they are optimized for conversion. And you have everything, everything, everything that you would need to build a website, an e-commerce website, and so much is included. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description below to this page so you can have a look a little bit more in depth. So let's get started. All right, before we get started, you need to do something first in order to activate the search widget, the new search widget, yeah? So we are, I am actually in my dashboard in the back end. So I'm gonna go to Elementor and go all the way to settings and go to features and make sure to look for search. And as you can see, I have it active and you just have to set it to active and go all the way down and save the changes and now you can go and experiment with your search widget so let's get into it right so let's search for the search widget so if you know the search widget this is how it looks and this is how it looked before this update so i'm gonna click on it and it is on my page now I am going to change the content width to full width and make it somewhat shorter or less lengthy. <laughs> All right. And uh, that's about it. I am not going to style it because actually that is not really the focus at the moment. At the moment, we are looking at it from the perspective of 
functionality. In the future, we will have different videos. We're gonna try different things with it. But for now, this is the first look on this channel at this widget, all right? So as you go and click on the search widget here, as you can see here at the top, you have the placeholder. And the placeholder in this case is here. So I'm explaining these things because maybe not everyone is aware how this widget works or how what you can change, okay? So if you're not interested, you could also skip further and, uh, you know, go to the point where you are interested to see what I'm doing. All right, so I will not turn on the autocomplete because I think it's a little bit annoying, to be honest, especially if you have a drop, drop down live search in our case, because look at this. This is what it means to have it on the page. So it would look like this. Then there's no point, honestly. So I'm gonna turn it off or hide it. And as you can see, we have here the option to add an icon for the clearing of the search terms on the search bar. So let's say it's GSAP. Yeah. And as you can see, we have here an icon. All right. So you can replace this with whatever icon you want, either from uh, the icons available here or whatever you want. So I'm going to leave it like this. And that is it. All right. Let's just clear this. And then this, the submit option here is either you submit through the button by clicking the button or with the enter key by entering or clicking enter on your keyboard or both. And I think it's best to have them both uh, enabled because sometimes it happens that you're just entering the key or clicking on the mouse. All right, let's move on to the most interesting part. So in order for the uh, live results to show on the page, we have to enable the live results. And now we can show live the results. I mean, you, you've seen that before when I was typing in, I had the live results on. And if I don't have them, let me just turn this off and let's go to look for GSAP, for example. Yeah. And nothing is happening so if i click on search then the whole search widget will behave as it used to be in the old way as i showed you at the beginning of this video all right so i'm going to turn this on and let's move on to styling this in or adding the options for the search results all right so this minimum search characters refers to how many characters you type in the search bar. So C, A, yeah, and we are getting already the results that we are looking for. Okay, so it makes no sense this, but let's say G, S, and we already have results showing GSAP effects, yeah? If I type GSAP, it's already there so i like the the search results to appear after two three characters typed in i think it makes more sense but this is all up to you all right so i'm gonna leave the results in one column as you can see here this is one column and how many items in this case we have four items but we can also go to three items yeah let's see how that looks I think it looks much better. I think three items are the sweet spot. And here you can customize your message if there are no results in the search. And in our case, we are going to have this as query. We're going to have the post set as the source for the results in our live search. You can either put everything that you have on the website uh, available to appear in the live search or uh, something else that you have or want to query here. And I have also set to include terms. And in our case, we have terms by category and we can search simply by category here, say GSAP, video gallery or navbar. Okay. And that's about it when it comes to content, you know, how to set this up the best way. And then in terms of styling, I'm not going to go into this because this is not the point of this video. As I said earlier, we are focusing on the functionality. All right. And that's it. So I'm going to publish this and let's go back actually to content and let's go to results. And as you can see 
here we have to choose a template uh, so our results show up in this format okay to do that we have to go to the theme builder and we have to create a loop item so i am going to just go to the loop item that i have already created let me see what it is mm -hmm. All right, so this is it, okay? Let's go to edit. And I'm not gonna go too much into it because there's no point. It, you know how to create a loop item, right? But there's something that I want to show you and to explain to you because I was wondering why this is not working properly. All right, so in this case, I have created a container. Yeah, and the container is full width and 100%. I didn't set the height, but you could set height. You can do whatever you feel like doing here. All right, so this is how it is and let's go to our items so we have a post title because we want to have the title of the posts that we're typing in and looking for yeah and then uh, we have a featured image all right that's so far so good all right these are the parameters that i set for the set for the how this image is styled and also this is the length or the width better said the width of our image and the post title has 60% of this container that it is in so 60% and 40% all right now one thing that I was not I or I expected for this to to I don't know why I saw that that by by default this would be clickable as a whole don't ask me why i thought that but i did because if you go over to the search wait let me just go to the actual uh page and if you type in there yeah you will see that it's it's hoverable but only the text so i was in my head thinking that the whole thing would be clickable which is not so the only place that you can set the link for the whole let's say this uh, query here uh, would be just the heading I would love to be able to have the whole result clickable because in my head that is what makes sense in terms of UX but if you have an issue with this I would suggest not including the image then anyway this is something that is just some i guess it's personal preference or something that i noticed maybe it's something that elementor can uh, implement in the future but for now this is how it is so what you need to do is set the link to uh, the post as post url so let's just go to dynamic tags and you go to set this to post url and publish it and that's all that is and then you will look for your template here all right so my template is already set already set but this is how you would do it i think it's pretty easy and i don't think this search result needs to be anything too crazy in terms of uh, how many elements you have added in the loop item but yeah one thing is for sure uh you have to have a clickable item for now it's i feel like it still needs a little bit more work but i also have to admit that i have not tested super super thoroughly yeah but in my case for my use case right here i can i think i can use it without a problem and you guys will find my content on the page on the website much easier i think so let me know how you're gonna use it if you've used it what else would you just suggest to set to make it a little bit more what's the word more concise more accurate that was the word and yeah leave all your recommendations in the description below because i think that we can all learn from each other uh, from whatever we are experiencing in the web design world if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye